biggest rapper on the planet. Gutta kan dock slutta och prata som möje, då blir det inte nog löj. Tigo you. Come on. You know I've applied for your passport, right? The Norwegian mad lad himself, who has been quoted as saying, I sleep with the five balls that I have for each hat trick I scored. I lie in bed and feel good with them. I look at them every day. They are my girlfriends. Just when you think Erling Brad Haaland couldn't be any more of a meme star, he goes ahead and releases a rap video. <laughs> What's happening boys and welcome to the long-awaited 84 team of the tournament Erling Braut Holland Episodia. Uh, hopefully you guys are getting off to a wonderful start to your week. It is Monday. We woke up about 30 minutes ago, hence why I've had a coffee and then also a little energy drink here. Uh, I'm just waking up, and there's nothing better to wake up to than Erling Braut Haaland's 84 team of the tournament card. A card that looks like, in terms of stats, once we dig into them, far exceeds his 84, uh, 84 overall rating. Now, obviously, not a great nationality. We've got a couple interesting players in game that make him a little bit more linkable. Uh, and then also super cheap, under 20,000 coins on the PlayStation right now. I think he's uh, just around that on the Xbox as well. But this Erling Braut Haaland card is definitely one of the ones that has had the most hype about it. We've talked about him for months. Uh, even his first inform, he's got the 82. Uh, saw a massive upgrade, had a silver card to start, something like 356 total in game stat upgrade from that silver base card up to this 84 team of the tournament, uh, and saw himself net the second most goals in Champions League, only behind Robert Lewandowski, and is the reason why he got this 84 team of the tournament card. If you guys are excited for this Erling Braut Holland, I know all my Norwegian guys out there are really pumped about this. I'm wearing the only thing that I have close to a Scandinavian kit, and that's the, uh, the KSI. Iceland kit from the 2016 Euros. If you guys are hyped for the Episodia, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. But like I alluded to, boys, this Erling Brad Holland card looks absolutely nuts. So three star, three star, obviously a little bit of a negative. Uh, doesn't have four star in either of them. Left footed, so he's a little bit interesting there. And then also the six four height, which obviously is a huge plus depending on how you want to use him. Uh, height really this year doesn't seem to be that big of an issue. The the heading capabilities of players uh, seem to be a, just a bit nerfed and, and doesn't really work too well. So six four really isn't a huge attractor, but very, very cheap. Uh, a little bit easier to link like I alluded to with a couple other players like that, uh, like that, uh, that Josh King card, Martin Odegaard, we're going to use him in today's epi, but um, definitely not a high-end level card, certainly not one that you would probably want to use in Weekend League. But once we go over to the stats that have been completely jacked off with the sniper chem style, of course you know we're going to use that. Uh, the dribbling stats go up quite nicely, goes up to 86 agility, goes up to 79 balance, uh, reactions, ball control, dribbling goes over 90, and then composure goes all the way up to 94, and he already has 88 finishing. The, 80, uh, the 89 attacking positioning gets jacked off, he's got 90 sprint speed, 85 acceleration, I didn't feel the need to touch any of those. Uh, and then, like I always say, boys, you look all the way over to the right, and then you see that 78 stamina. Not too big of an issue. We're making uh, we're making super subs anyway. Uh, and then 90 strength, and then the 87 aggression, which is one that's uh, very, very interesting as well. So... We've got the stats covered there, 94 curve, even 91 short passing is elite, not a lot of attacking options have that 91 short passing, but he's got that there, so that's a bonus stat 100%, uh, and we've gone ahead and thrown him into an interesting squad. Now, you guys are wondering yourselves, wait, why are you running the 4-2-3-1? Everyone and their mothers, I had some recommendations on stream, I had some recommendations from uh, from a couple pros, I was really struggling this weekend, I managed to finish gold 2, having played every, sorry, we didn't finish gold 2, we finished with 16 wins, um, uh, and I went 16 and 14. That was my worst weekend league finish with arguably one of my best squads that I've ever had. Uh, and, I'll, I'll, you know, I don't like mixing things up too much, but apparently this 4-2-3-1 is what everyone's using right now. So I want to at least try it in an epi. But more importantly, though, I want to see if this Erling Braut Holland card could be the new Yusuf Poulsen. Last year, that Poulsen card had the 3-star, three 3-star, three near identical stats, to be honest with you. Better, uh, better agility, but uh, was a near identical card in terms of height. Uh, in terms of height, having the three-star, three-star as well, and then just really good composure and finishing, and then insane agility for his height as well. So we're going to test this card out. Match number one with the Norwegian mad lad himself, Erling Brad Holland. Los geht's. So our lamb is going to be Di Maria, our ram is going to be Bailey, everyone is on stay forward, V is on stay forward, Holland's on stay forward, and then Blanc and Guardiola. Ooh, that's shot power. Erling Brown Holland has been eating his fish. 
Bro, what is... Yo, that shot power was nuts. Did you see the whip on that? That was elite level whippage from Erling Brad Holland. Nil. 2 nil, and I'll tell you what I love about this formation, okay? I'll tell you what I love about the formation. You essentially have three strikers. Whereas with the 4-1-2-1-2, you have your, uh, you've got your, you've got your, you've got the two strikers, you've got the cam, then you've got the two guys wide, but they, they sit back a little bit. Here, it pushes everything a little bit more forward, and then it still gives you the two CDMs. <laughs> That's my bad. I gave him that one. That was, that was a gimme. See, I like this. It's Monday morning. How overloaded could the servers be? That's that's what makes me want to log off. First off, why is my Erling Brad Holland not absolutely drilling that in the back of the net? That's not an issue with this card, okay? That's an issue with whatever the input is. I literally pressed the button that makes it volley, and it didn't do it, okay? So there's that. Um, he has himself two goals. He showed the whippage on that uh, on that finesse. Uh, he missed one chance, obviously that one chance in front of net, and then dribbles completed 20 out of 26 for a guy that's 6'4". Uh, was very, very impressed with that. I, I like the formation, but again, we had like a little bit of speed of lag instances, and uh, just not. it's not the start that you want to have. It's not how you want to kick off the week in FIFA, dude. We like, I mean, I don't want to say dominated, but we had some quality chances. We had possession. <laughs> Brienne of Tarth. Brienne of Tarth absolutely rips through this guy's defense. Uh, the body faint absolutely destroys him. And he goes ahead and he celebrates with Bernat, David Villa, and Benedict Cumberbatch. No way on the prowl. Holland's in again! The straight five! And then the ability to push that through, bro. Erling Braut Holland, four goals in two ma and not e four goals in not even two matches played. Now the, the way that you want to use him is you want to just run, okay? Like the agility is all well and good, and you saw me use the uh, you saw me use the body feint um, with some success there. But you just want to keep running straight. You want to keep running straight like I just did there. He bodies off Eder Militao, one of the better uh, center backs in the game. At least I think that was Eder Militao. I'm not sure who that actually was. Um, he bodies him off. He just says, "Let go of me." And then he just goes in and does what he does best. Erling brought Holland. All he knows how to do is score goals. Not even 20 minutes in, and we get ourselves the Erling Braut Holland hat trick. Hey, he get he gets in the box and he doesn't miss. Contrary to that chance that he had in match number one. Um, at Al Jaid, when the when the stadium lights are on, he shines and rises to the occasion. Dude, if he he is the he's the epitome of a mad lad. If you look up the definition of mad lad in, in the FIFA 20 dictionary or uh, the Ultimate Team dictionary, it's a player that costs under thirty thousand coins, is above the height of six three, is from an off nation, is from an off league, <laughs> has no links whatsoever, but uh, has a couple stats. All right, his Ben Yedder. When, when you come up against a Ben Yedder, you're gonna concede. Like 
I like it. Pep Guardiola. I don't. I can't remember the last time I scored an absolute banger from outside the box. He doesn't even have crazy distance shooting. But Pep Guardiola just goes ahead and slams it, dude. That would have been nasty. I don't think I want to play. Do I want to play? I'm not sure. Is that four goals? Is that five goals for him? No, no. Guardiola had one. Guardiola had the absolute banger. So imagine a tree with legs, and then somehow that tree is able to move pretty fast and also kick a football into the back of the net on a very fairly consistent basis. A Norwegian tree. A beautiful, beautiful Christmas Norwegian tree. <laughs> we barely squeak out of match number two with the victory. But Erling Brad Haaland gets himself on six attempts. He gets four goals. So he was absolutely clinical. He tore my opponent opponent apart. He showcased the agility that you need that you can only get with the sniper chem style. That was the goal that kicked things off. Absolutely just shredded through whatever defender that was. He moved his keeper to the uh, moved his keeper to the right, thinking I was gonna uh, bang it far post. I thought about it. Um, but uh, Erling Brad Haaland, man, was very, very impressed with this card. I gotta say, for an 84 rated, I was a little bit nervous, but you guys know that we use the 82 inform, and he was incredible for us as well. A very, very impressive couple matches with Erling Brad Haaland, the rap god. This is the painful part, because it's the part where I have to give it the value, and in terms of 20,000 coins, that's obviously that's obviously a 5 out of 5. That's a that's a home run. But in terms of nationality, and then also uh, and then also league, I am going to have to give it, and it pains me to do it, but, you know, the combination of it, him being super cheap, and then also balanced with the fact that he's off league, off nation, I'm gonna have to give it a 3 out of 5. I'd love to give it much higher in terms of value, but... I just can't do it given that he does have the uh, Norwegian nationality, uh, which just doesn't link into a whole lot of players. In terms of on the pitch performance, however, I'm happy to report four out of five because he does have the three star, three star. It would be near perfect uh, if he didn't, if he had at least one of those. If he had at least four star skill moves and four star weak foot, I would give him a perfect five, but we're gonna have to give him a four and a half out of five on the Infinity Gauntlet because of that, uh, because of that deficiency. But scoring goals was not an issue that you're gonna have with this card if you figure out a way to get him in. Again, you have to be a little bit creative. That is gonna do it, boys, for the Erling Braut Holland episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.